Academy. Uh, as I said, this is uh, module one. And basically, the, the purpose of the module one is to give a very high level uh, overview uh, from the perspective of, of uh, startups development journey. And uh, let's see. And, uh, and I think uh, if you have been actively looking at our website, you have come across this uh, development phases uh, framework that is basically the essence of uh, all of the different activities and things that we um, communicate uh, through Startup Commons. And, um, and I'll, I'll, in this uh, presentation, I also cover a little bit more about the background of, of this framework. And, and it gives a rationale to many of the things that, that we go through. So the whole Growth Academy, as, as we have launched it recently as a kind of open source growth uh, curriculum about innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, so all of the materials are being made available for, for um, all of the different trainees and coaches around the world that are uh, training on this topic, as well as, of course, for private consumption of, in, uh, of startups and entrepreneurs and co-founders. Um, so we cover today the module one, and uh, we continue covering all of the modules in this webinar format and capturing this knowledge uh, to help explain the material um, in, in more detail and to provide as a support resource for entrepreneurs and, and uh, helping to train new trainers and coaches as well. So the first module really covers the top level. Uh, the, the, the B part of the first module is more from the perspective of support organizations and uh, support uh, providers. And then each of the, the bottom modules, two, three, and four, focus in more details, more strategies, more tactics, and more uh, details in indi individual uh, parts of uh, the, the key parts of the development journey of building a venture. So the material is, is shared under Creative Commons, and basically that means that we have put all this information available for, for, for and distribution. We also have great uh, participants already taking part and, for example, helping to translate the content to different languages. And we're looking to get inputs and ideas how to improve the material. And all of the contributions will be further released also under Creative Commons, um, giving additional credit for those who contribute for this material. So, uh, why? have we created this and for whom is this content really targeted for? So basically this is for everyone who are working with um, innovative innovation entrepreneurship context. So this can be naturally from the entrepreneurs themselves, co-founders, additional team members, uh, but also policy makers and those creating funding instruments and so forth that necessarily don't have their personal experience of actually building a startup venture either. So for anyone interested in having better understanding about the startups and the journey of creating something out of nothing. And uh, also those uh, who are looking to join the venture, either being um, as a founder creating the startup or being a, uh, a, a one joining later uh, as a co-founder or even a, let's say the employee number 50 or employee number 100 and uh, because being part of a, a early venture through this uh, journey is, is a very different from, from working in a company or organization that has been there for a longer time. And naturally, um, all the other parties, as mentioned, uh, the, those who are making, for example, policy decisions, even, even some laws or regulations that impact um, uh, 
developing innovation and, and startups as it is very important to understand how um, not only it's about being smaller or newer companies but it's also part of understanding the journey and the evolution of the of the startup as they are very different at different phases of the development and to really have policies and, and regulations in place that support and enable rather than restrict and limit but it's understandable that some of the regulations need to be um, also protecting the customers and, and, and uh, citizens. So finding the right balance is very important to understand that uh, how developing innovation and building new organizations is different from, from the bigger companies and the requirements that can be imposed uh, for them. And finally, for those who are looking to invest into startups, and uh, specific to, for example, new business angels who are coming from a background of investing into different asset classes like real estate or uh, public stock market or, or things like that. Because again, also investing into startups is a very different kind of risk level and has a very different practices uh, than considering investing into other asset classes. And uh, with the developments of things like equity crowdfunding, uh, these opportunities are becoming and have become more available to to broader audience. So it's also important that anyone, even with a little amount, that can be significant in their personal uh, finance level. Uh, it is important to understand um, how to view uh, startups and their journey and evaluate their progress. Uh, from the investor's perspective. So the topics that we are covering today, first we'll go through uh, the introduction. Uh, we talk about some of the key terminology uh, and differences between uh, things like idea and innovation, uh, entrepreneurship versus startups. We'll focus on some of the key um, success and failure factors, some statistics behind those, uh, some of the key principles. Uh, we're looking to kind of discussing what the success uh, actually uh, can look like. Um, we'll look a little bit on the investor's perspective and from there also uh, for the valuation perspective of how the company's value grow over time and where does that value actually come from. Uh, we'll briefly discuss about advisors and mentors and their role. Um, we'll focus more of uh, looking and understanding the startup development phases. And basically then on the top, on the, on the end, we'll look at um, some of the concluding words and, and also provide uh, links and tools and resources for additional consumption of, of knowledge that is also uh, referred uh, in this presentation. So let's get started. 